you know, in, in Charlie and Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, um, and yeah. when they're licking the wallpaper, and they're going the um the the snozberries taste like snozberries and all that sort of stuff. You know yeah, isn't it about LSD or something? No, not LSD. But um, I can't remember what the name of the book was. But um, later on in his uh, in his life, Rod Dahl wrote another book uh, about something else, and he oh, he, is he this said, the adult book one? Um, it was it was wasn't an adult book, but it was more it had more adult themes in it. Yeah. Um, and in it, he describes what snozberries actually are, and snozberries are dicks. Ooh. So those kids. The way they were licking that wallpaper. He was licking dick. They were licking, well, they were licking <laughs> strawberries. They were licking limes. They were licking like cotton candy flavour. But there was a little dick flavour popped in there just for good measure as well. But dick shouldn't taste of anything if it's nice and clean. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the image now of them all like really loving that wall. <laughs> mm. But the thing is, they, those kids fucking know what snozberries are because they're going, the snozberries, he's like, snozberries. So they know. Then she's going, mmm, these <laughs> dicks taste like dicks. <laughs> oh dear. That's pretty wrong. Those kids were like five, whatever they were, 12. Maybe. It wasn't fine. They were too young to be looking dick. So his parents were called uh, Viola and Anderson Lucas. So his mum was Viola, uh, Viola, Viola, his dad was Anderson. Uh, they were both alcoholics, which is great. Um, mm. Although his dad, uh, his dad seems like he was probably the worst out of the two with the alcoholic mm-hmm. um, issue. Um, his dad actually gained the nickname No Legs. Um, because apparently while... He was always on... He was always pissed. No, no. Well, kind of, but no. Um, uh, he worked as a rail uh, a railroad w- uh, employee uh, okay. and he got really drunk at work and then he fell asleep on the tracks. Apparently he fell asleep on the tracks. Um, uh, but he did uh, lose both of his legs um, oh, so in a train accident. No so he legs. literally had no legs. Oh, but right, it was okay. due to the fact of um, uh, being too drunk and yeah. being irresponsible and shit. Uh, work-wise, because uh, obviously he lost his he lost his job as the, on the railroad. Um, work-wise, his dad then turned to uh, selling pencils uh, on street corners, as well as bootleg whiskey. Which I'm, I'm guessing the whiskey probably sold more than the pencils. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> if you're selling bootleg whiskey, I don't get why you have to add the pencils on. Maybe back then pencils were in higher demand than what they are now. Pencils for kids and the whiskey for the adults. For the adults. Uh, also, I don't think it occurred who we were selling the whiskey to, by the way. I don't think he was checking people's IDs for this shit. Um, his mum, uh, Viola, was a sex worker. Uh, so he was out selling pencils and she was um, having sex with people. Mm-hmm. Uh, as a result of Viola's occupation uh, and her lack of using any form of contraception, okay. uh, Henry uh, had eight brothers and sisters, uh, many of who had actually been farmed out over the years to uh, institutions, uh, other relatives, and foster homes. So okay, she was okay. having, she was popping out a fair few kids, uh, but she was sort of giving away to a lot of people. Mm. Uh, Viola did, however, she did keep a small few, uh, including Henry at home, uh, but she was. Hundred percent, not winning any Mother of the Year awards. That's this is why I say this is very different from the uh, Trial and Chocolate Factory yeah. scenario. Um, and as you can imagine, which is what if well, we'll get onto that. <laughs> uh, Vi- Vi- Viola, I was going to mention it, but I thought I just it comes up uh, anyway. Um, Viola, uh, she ruled the house with an iron fist. Boof, not a literal iron fist. Not the mythical power given by slaying a Shall dragon. Land. Yes, that's a comic book reference or a TV reference, if anyone's aware of it. Um, she, she didn't have the power of the dragon. Which, right, okay. No, she was just a very stern lady. Um, she was often, often uh, viciously beat um, Henry, uh, his brother Andrew, and also his father. So if his father wasn't... Um, uh, out the frame with this, so right. it's kind of like I'm getting, I'm, I'm getting the vibe that his father was just like very. He was. And this is why I think he probably had the worst problem because he seems like he was just not with it at all. Completely out of it. He seems like mm. he was out of it. Yeah. Um, but not only that, um, she also occasionally forced them to watch her have sex with her customers. Um, oh. if, if they refused, uh, she would beat them even harder. So she would make her sons and her husband watch her have sex with these guys. Why? She's fucked up, man. 
just fucked up which is why i said this is like child and drug factory where you know they're all stayed in one room there's gonna be some fucking going on maybe uh but no she wasn't she wasn't telling them to get out of the room and go outside she was forcing these people which is fucking gross Mm. um immediate trauma as a child um his dad also was um so reported uh, reportedly was so sickened by uh this at one point um this had been going on for a little while um he actually uh left the room one night uh and said he was going to just spend the night outside um oh. in the cold where he actually contracted a fatal case of pneumonia which killed him Oh shit! Uh, killed him not long after, which the whole scenario apparently sort of messed up with um, messed Henry up, made yeah. made Henry um, a little bitter and a little bit um, cold, as it would to be fair. Yes, mm. um, Henry. Yeah. Henry's mother uh, didn't really do anything for her family. Um, she never cleaned the house or prepared regular meals for anyone, um, except herself and her uh, pimp slash boyfriend Bernie. Um, which, of course. If, you know, the family dynamic, it can be the father providing, it could be the mother providing, it can be any. But when you've got both adults like this, it's insane. I've put down here, um, mm. while his dad was still alive, um, obviously he was the only other uh, irresponsible adult, is what I've put down here. Um, the boys weren't getting fed, so they were quite malnutrition. Uh, malnutrition. Okay. malnutrition. I kind of guessed that anyway, to be fair. Um, so they ended up, the only food they could, they would eat is the stuff that they could steal from neighboring farms and stores in town. Yeah. Um, and the kids that she kept, um, she just treated them basically like workers for her. Okay. So she, she kept just enough, um, that she could use them for work, <laughs> but, work. um, she didn't want too many where it would obviously be a financial burden on her. Yeah. But it's such a horrible way some people think of their own children. they messed up, to be fair. I don't see how anyone can could ever do that to their own child. But people can. People can. People, and people do. I was going to say, they definitely do. Uh, as Henry grew up, um, the chores that he was given became harder, and the beatings were more regular, uh, and he was forced to do work from dawn to dusk. So he wasn't really put in school uh, early on from the looks of things he does right. go to school lately but it doesn't seem like he was like um through the whole uh thing Skill process yeah, yeah i don't really know that much about it. i don't even know if that was a thing i don't know what age kids went to school then or not but um no, he was uneducated clue, yeah. his description is that he was uh, uneducated anyway uh one of his jobs uh was to uh, guard the still uh which is what while his dad was alive um he would make the booze there, make all the knockoff booze. Right, okay. Uh, and it was during those times his father would actually let Henry taste the moonshine that he was making, which is great <laughs> for a child to be tasting freaking moonshine. Oh, damn. Um, of course, it was a very bad idea, and it wasn't long before Henry was drinking the, de- uh, the deadly brute on a daily basis. Uh, by the age of just oh. 10, uh, Henry was virtually an alcoholic. Shit, no. Yep, yeah, so you've got... Um, Alcoholic 10-year-old, uh, and you've got abusive, a neglecting, neglecting father. An abusive mother. An abusive mother. You could, well, you could pretty much say that the dad's abusive as well by giving the kid fucking booze, right? Well, yeah, that's, that's yeah, definitely, definitely yeah. Abusive. Yeah, this is a recipe for disaster straight away. Though. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes, like, <laughs> oh, we're, we're looking at these things and we're like, oh, like, how does, you know, you can't really piece together how someone what has created the monsters but in this one it's like yeah someone should have someone should have seen this one come in (laughs) right off um the abuse was so bad that on one occasion after he refused to perform uh, a small task um henry's mum beat him over the head with a log of wood Um, fuck the attack was actually so bad that his scalp was split open to the bone uh, and henry was actually knocked into a coma for a full day oh poor um, kid. strangely uh the only person who showed any concern after the beating was actually bernie who was the pimp slash boyfriend yeah. guy uh but it wasn't because he actually cared about the child uh it was for very selfish reasons uh he was convinced that the police would hear of the attack anyway and then they'd come and arrest them um he <laughs> managed to convince viola that um the best idea would be to take him to the hospital and come up with a story 
and had, you know themselves rather yeah. than him be found. Um, so Viola told the doctor that Henry had fallen from a ladder, and obviously Henry was so freaking oh, terrified right. of his yeah. mum that he just went with with him with the story. Um, and obviously the beating the beatings would take their toll on um, Henry, not just uh, emotionally, uh, but also in his brain. Um, he started oh, to have no. frequent seizures, uh, and he often complained of uh, noises and voices in his head. That really does go with that um, theory that, um, is it psychologists that are doing it, or saying that is it trying to test if a knock on the head is... Oh, yeah, it's in the um, in the book thing that I was uh, yeah. uh, reading about. The... Um, the oh the psychologist of psychopath or the mind of a psychopath something like that. I can't remember what it was called frick uh, but yeah what they say about the, it's like the prefrontal lobe or something like that yeah. where there's like there's been examinations and like they've seen like um, with swellings on the front of the brain and then um, people have had violent tendencies and when it's been drained um, they don't like have those tendencies and it makes sense it's interesting, interesting. Doesn't it, to be fair mm. I mean I'm pretty darn certainly sure that even without the blows on the head that he probably would have been going down some dark path but then again people, yeah, people yeah. come back from shit people do come back from shit you got a lot of kids who are abused and you know yeah. more often than not they don't turn into crazy freaking psychopaths it doesn't seem like a common occurrence really no. to be I fair I mean if you think of how many freaking poor kids get abused out yeah. there you know, if if this was to be the case where every abused child becomes a serial killer, we would have fleets of serial killers <laughs> going around the world. Yeah, we would. Um, unfortunately, uh, but we would. So I don't think I don't think that is the uh, those are the ingredients on their own. Maybe yeah. you're right. Maybe it's the abuse plus the the trauma to the brain or something. Maybe. Oh, by the way, do you want to see a picture of um, Henry? Oh yeah, go on. Um, this is Henry as um, this is Henry as a kid, and he's a really cute kid actually. Oh, it's really cute. He's actually a really cute kid. Um, so yeah, uh, we'll put we'll put the um, images on uh, Facebook if anyone wants to go and see them, or just Google them yourself. It's perfectly fine, uh, either way. Um, so yeah, at this point. Um, Henry is going to school. Okay. Um, but, of course, um, the abuse and the uh, horrible, twisted nature of his mother uh, doesn't end uh, when he goes to school. Uh, Viola made him wear a dress and would put his hair in ringlets uh, and then send him off to what, school. What are ringlets? Uh, like little crimply bits, bit, you know, when you curl your hair? Like yeah. little girls, like when little girls are like curly hair. Not exactly got long hair though. Was that was it? just one photograph, but apparently. Oh, it that's gets long hair. He did. I think so. I think so. Uh, yeah. That is so mean. I know. So it's like even the potential time when he could have um, left the abuse behind, mm. um, his mom sends him off kind of with the purpose. Because you know what kids are like, and especially back then, fucking yeah. hell, the homophobia rampant so she's 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 wanting him to get bullied she's wanting him to get picked on there that is so grim so cruel and she also sent him uh, with no shoes as well so we'd always have no shoes uh, did the school not say anything at all or uh yeah in fact uh when uh, henry returned home from school one day actually wearing a pair of shoes that the teachers had given him uh because they obviously just thought that um the parents um, couldn't afford them so they were doing a nice thing and giving him the yeah. shoes and he was like thankful for it and stuff his mom severely beat him for accepting the gift fuck fucking <sighs> so twisted such a bitch <laughs> yeah that's an understatement of the year yeah um as henry grew even older and eventually became a teenager um he reported uh, that he actually started to have sex with his brother uh not only that but also with animals um, oh dear. Whose throats they would slit first. Whoa. That's messed up. Yeah. But, you know, they've had so much shit going on with them. The, the, the view of violence and their view of sex is so skewed. Yeah. I mean, they've, they've, but on both accounts, it really is because they've witnessed their mother in these situations and they've been for they've been beaten if they haven't watched and, it's a weird, weird thing. It's like yeah. sex seems like, uh, I don't know, would sex, maybe sex would seem like a punishment of some sort. 
It would seem some, something strange, right? I don't know. But your, your whole perspective on those two things will be very, very uh, skewed as to what they, they, they possibly...